Hey guys, back here with Trendy Nature and today I'm going to show you how to make a network cable. This is a uh, category 5 cable and um, there are two different types right now that are the most used which is category 5 and category 6 but category 6 gives you the higher output so if you have a um, a system that is you know where it's needing more efficiency uh, more power to run uh, any objects on the network then you'll use a category 6 but category 5 is uh, good enough for most network systems computers you know data transfer anything like that so what we'll do first is I will show you the tools so I showed you the cable and the ends that are connected in here they are called RJ45 connectors so you can buy those pretty much any electronic store and here's a brand new RJ45 connector and the way you can tell if it's new is that it's not protruding inside so which means it hasn't been collapsed so you can see inside there it's straight and clear and uh, the part is that uh, collapses in when it's used by a crimper is this top piece so it kind of grasps the cable once it's inside so that's a good uh, RJ45 connector and now I'll show you our tool. So what we'll use is our uh, crimping device. Um, there's like multi-crimping devices. They have uh, different features on them like a blade for a cutter so you can cut uh, your cable and it also has a crimper for the RJ45 right there. And so I am going to first cut this cable so you can see the wiring. And so I will cut it there. And so now we have a straight, clean cable. And you can see the wires sticking out right there. Good focus on there. Okay, so now the best way to do this, um, there's many different tools that'll help out with this. Like you can see this crimper, it has a special slot for the cable, um, but this other one doesn't. So if you get pretty good at slicing cables, then you pretty much know how deep to go. Um, but for beginners, this helps. And what we will do is we will kind of estimate about an inch. That's all the cable we need, all the wires we need to stick out to stick in the RJ45 connector. So I will cut this at about an inch down from the top. And you would just want to make sure you don't slice through the wires. Um, but it has a guard or safety right there so that the depth is controlled. So what we will do is clamp down and I will twist it a little bit and try to get a good cut and pretty much all the cables that you're going to use are flexible, durable and also soft so sometimes you can just pull off the end like that. Um, and we also want to make sure we have a good clean cut so I will cut it just a little bit more using the other side because it's a flat flat surface to cut. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now that was the easy part. So here is the harder part. Um, it's the cable coloring. So it is different with um, category six cables, but this is a category five. And you can tell because it has the orange stripe orange and the solid green. So what we'll do is we will try to find the orange stripe which is this one right here. Um, and this is a rather cheap one because they determine or they uh, section off the striped cables with just a mark on them. And it's kind of difficult to see with a camera. You can see a little bitty orange right there. So that's, that's uh, orange stripe. So we would go orange stripe, orange, and then blue stripe green so what we want to do is organize these in a row so that they're next to each other so orange stripe orange blue stripe green And then green stripe blue then brown stripe brown
Okay, so now I just want to bend these and twist these so I can get these all straight in a row. So orange stripe, orange. Green stripe. Blue. Blue stripe, green. Brown stripe, brown. Okay, so my uh, easiest method of doing this is to kind of pull these over to the side. So pull my orange stripe, then my orange, then green stripe, and then blue. And blue stripe, green, and brown stripe and brown. So once you have those in order, you just take your fingers and just kind of move them together. And you can feel them in a row and straight. So then once you have them in a row, like organized, then you kind of pinch down your pointer finger and your thumb and then you move them together like that so pretty much want to you just want to make sure they're straight and that they're together in the order that they're supposed to be so we have orange stripe orange green stripe blue blue stripe green brown stripe brown so after we have these organized and pinched together at the bottom so that they're staying in a row what I will do is I will take the crimper and I will cut a straight line across because you can see that they are uneven. So I will cut these across and so they're pretty much straight now. And now we still have our order because I have it pinched down and I will get my RJ45 connector and what you want to do is stick these wires in the slots. So you can see there's slots on this RJ45 connector. But if you pretty much just stick them in, in a row and keep them pinched, they'll slide into their own slot. And like you don't want to turn this with the flap outwards towards you. You want to be able to see the golden contacts. So it's turned towards you. So now we will take these wires and stick them in. So I'm sure we want to make sure they're a little bit more straight. And now you know I see a little bit unevenness, so I'm going to cut these last two because they're just a little bit longer. And also do this in. Okay, that looks better. All right, so now we'll take these and slide them in. And you can see that they're all the way inside. And they're all in the rows. And you can also, before you clamp this down and secure it, you can see the order. So we want orange stripe orange, green stripe blue, blue stripe green, brown stripe brown. So you can verify that they're in the correct order and you also want to see them so you can see, try to get a little focus on the camera there. All right, well, it's difficult to see, but um, okay, there we go. You can see the ends of the wires touching the end of the RJ45 connector. So pretty much you just wanna make sure they're seated well inside. So now we have the clamp on and we can take our crimpers and then crimp them. I like these crimpers. So this is what I will use. Uh, so pretty much all you do is just uh, stick it in the slot and you can see that you have your tab there and you have this slot there so of course this goes down and you also know it goes down because what you want to do is you're pushing these connectors down onto the wires and it splices them inside and that's what makes the connection. 
so you can just look at your crimper and tell which side to do because you see you have your prong sticking out and that's what makes the connection for you so you want to have it angled like this so you just stick your RJ45 connector in there and then you clamp down and sometimes it takes quite a bit of force So, yeah, it looks like a good connection there, and uh, you can also use a cable tester. Um, but you see, now the uh, gold connectors aren't even with the rows right here, they're actually down inside, so that means you have a good connection. And there we go. So, it looks like we're all done there, and uh, also. Um, if you're doing just a quick job and you don't really care about the casing then you can just stick the uh, RJ45 connector directly onto the cable but there are also um, neat little casings to help protect the RJ45 connector I'll show you one of those and uh, here's a protective casing so what you do is uh, when the wire is without the RJ45 connector you just stick this onto the cable before you put the connector on and then when you're done with the connector then you just slide this back on top over it so what it does is just protects the uh, lock-in tab with a uh, shield and that's it guys so uh, try to subscribe to our channel and we will be back for more thank you